I wanted to make a quick intro to um, some of the fabric um, artwork editing tools, how you can add art to your fabric in Clo 3D. Um, the original one they had is when you click on the fabric, you can add a print and it'll put in repeat tile. You do have to have all the artwork of your print saved as PNG files with clear backgrounds though. Um, but that was the first one that we've explored. So you click on the fabric and you just scroll down. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. To texture. So this particular fabric has no texture. If you pick some of the other fabrics in the library, they'll have a texture and you're basically going to edit and change it. So you click over to open texture editor. Um, and here now you can add your PNG file. I have a dot, it's clear background, open, and you know, um, I can zoom in or out. I can make my dots smaller or bigger. You can rotate as well. I can actually have it cross over the print. You see it gets cut off. If you don't want it to be cut off, you just click extend to the other side. So um, anyways, you can add more, you can copy, make another one, you can add more art. Um, there's lots of stuff you can do with this one to uh, make a print. I'll say apply and close, and you'll notice now I have my little texture editor. This is my repeat tile. Okay, since then, Clo also actually added um, a thing called fabric generator, texture generator. Um, this isn't really so much about a print, I would say, as it is like mimicking fabric to make the fabric look cohesive and not have like repeat lines. So for example, I found a screenshot of um, denim. Actually, I'm gonna say cancel. I'm gonna use this one. Um, there we go. Mm. Let me get out of that one. Cancel. Okay, there we go. Um, I found a screenshot of denim fabric, random from the internet, probably not the best quality that I could have found, but um, here we go. Two of these, I'll do this one. Um, I'm not sure which one's better. This one's kind of a zoom, we'll try this one. And what you do, you try to click and drag your repeat, because like right now this repeated, this part's darker blue and this one's light blue, so there'd be an obvious repeat line. So if I try to click and drag like maybe this section, it makes a repeat for you just, and this one actually isn't that bad. Like I can kind of see a little bit of repeat action happening here, but overall I've actually seen worse um, as well. And I think if I scale this down, maybe it'll be okay as well. So that's, uh, they're just kind of smart way of making a repeat. If you don't like it, you just can click and drag or make this bigger or smaller and it'll change it down here below. So this is okay. I guess I'll say apply and close. Um, okay, and then the newest one they have, my dog is eating loudly today, Marie. Um, and this is in beta. So you have to um, opt in to doing the beta AI. Um, I did opt in. So um, because I have my fabric selected, actually I'll pick a new fabric. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to this dot one. Um, you, there's a little magic wand here and this is the AI texture generator. And this is like, it is kind of a cool placeholder if you know like, oh, I want like a lemon style print here. I'll just say apply. Um, you can just kind of use as a placeholder until you get your artwork correct. But what I did for this first one, I just chose Trico at the time I was thinking of like swim fabric when I was doing this, but I can choose all kinds of different fabrics. Like, oh goodness, like what would be good for this? Uh, maybe just like a plain canvas. I did, I chose art, because if you do print, your choices are like, those are your choices and I wanted something more artistic. Um, and then when you do art, there's more choices as well. And I just did vintage. And um, so the first one I did, I typed in lemon blue sky, lemons blue sky. Um, then I just clicked it again and it gave me a second option. Then the third time I added the word slice. You can see it gave me lemon slices. Here's the second one that I clicked. So this is the first, no changes. I just clicked generate and it gave me a second option. Added the word slice. And then I added the word wedge, <laughs> got kind of funny. So uh, this is kind of crazy, I just click clicking generate. So, you know, anything you want me to try cherries this time and I'll say generate. Um, there's also kind of like a random tool, um, so random prompt and it'll change the stuff up here. Or if there's one that you kind of like, you can pin it and, and generate more options of that one. Um, so anyways, this is 
just kind of a neat tool, I guess. Um, yeah, to play around. I think it's amazing, actually, I shouldn't say, I guess. Um, so, so anyways, those are the three like print tools to kind of get some artwork in your clothing real quick um, using the uh, texture editor, texture generator, and now the new AI uh, texture generator beta, which is cool.